What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Fantasy Fellow Show. My name's Kyle. Tonight, it's October 20th, Friday evening here about 5 p.m. I'm going to go over all of the final practice reports heading into week seven. There are a lot of things to get into. And I know this weekend, you know, with the six teams on by, it's kind of a difficult weekend. We're going to be starting some guys that we probably wouldn't consider starting uh, in most instances. But here we are. Um, I do have uh, all the start sit charts are available here, too. I think there's a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. But I have all these links here, too, that I link. Uh, some of them are for my website, but this one I like. A lot the link to the practice reports it gets you to i believe rotowire yes so what we're going to do we're going to go team by team here i want to look and see uh alphabetically here arizona we'll see who's out in this game here looks like the defense is missing a lot of players they're missing a safety a corner another corner buddha baker uh limited put him on ir though so we'll see if they can get him back uh but either way the defense is banged up here they have an offensive guard out kyler murray of course still on the PUP list, uh, they're going to probably, I think he's activated off that, but he's not playing in this one. Uh, I believe they've already ruled him out. And then otherwise for fantasy football, nobody really to note here. Zach Pascal, one of the backup receivers. No James Conner, obviously he's on IR. So we're going to see this weird triangle of running backs between Damian Williams, uh, Keontae Ingram, and Damari, Imari Di Mercado. Marquise Brown's healthy, not in love with the Cardinals offense in this one, but overall they're healthy on offense. Defense looks a little banged up. So maybe Seattle takes advantage of that. Uh, moving into Atlanta, Atlanta's like fantastically healthy. They have Calais Campbell here listed with the DNP non-injury. That's it. Otherwise Atlanta's offense is in full strength here. You're starting Bijan, you're starting London and probably Pitts and maybe John o. Smith. Moving on to the Baltimore Ravens here. They've ruled out two guys here, cornerback and Marcus Williams, a safety. Otherwise, everybody else practiced in full today. That's on the report. The offense is healthy. This is just a list of defensive players. So Baltimore Ravens in full health this week. You like to see it. Uh, you're starting Mark Andrews. You're starting Zay Flowers, Lamar Jackson, maybe one of the running backs. That's probably about it. Moving into Buffalo. Buffalo traveling to New England in this one. They've ruled out Quinton Morris and Ed Oliver. Um, otherwise, Damian Harris placed on IR, Cam Lewis questionable with a shoulder injury, but he did practice in full today. So you have a lot of full practices on this injury report. Josh Allen is going to be fine. He practiced back-to-back -back full days. Uh, let's see, Dalton Kincaid, full practice all week. Same with Dalton uh, Dawson Knox. You're going to see these two tight ends both play this weekend. Maybe if you need to stream one of them, I'm not opposed to it. Uh, and then, yeah, everybody else looks pretty healthy here for offense. You're starting Stephon Diggs, Josh Allen, James Cook. Probably Gabe Davis, maybe a tight end if you need to. Carolina's on by, so we're going to bypass them. Uh, Chicago here, let's see, they've ruled out uh, offensive guard Nate Davis, Justin Fields, Eddie Jackson, Roshan Johnson's the big one, and Terrell Smith here, the cornerback. Handful of guys listed as questionable here. Offensive tackle Darnell Wright, center Dan Feeney, and Jaquan Brisker here. So the, the Bears are limping into this one. I think for fantasy, we don't really know what to expect from uh, from Badgent, the quarterback here. You're probably going to be still wanting to start DJ Moore if you, if you can. Um, and then Deonta Foreman's going to get the start. And now they did use a lot of Darrington Evans last weekend too, but I think it's Foreman's backfield. He's probably a low-end RB2 flex play. Again, just with all the buys, you might be starting a guy like Deonta Foreman. So it's really only Foreman uh, and DJ Moore. Maybe Cole Komet, but it feels a little risky. Uh, the Bengals are on buy. Let's move over to Cleveland here. Cleveland, they ruled out uh, Taki Taki, the linebacker, backup tight end Harrison Bryant, questionable. Kareem Hunt popped up on the injury report Wednesday with a thigh, but he's limited and limited Thursday and Friday, so he's on track to play. I think he's a low-end RB2 flex play. We're waiting for the health of Deshaun Watson. DNP on Wednesday, limited Thursday, full practice Friday, so he's trending towards playing, which is a good sign uh, for all Cleveland skill players. Cedric Tillman, full practice, not sure what his injury is. Uh, and then Amari Cooper, had some non-injury days off here, full practice today, not concerned about it. So assuming Watson plays, you're going to play Cooper, you're going to play Jerome Ford, you, and your flex considerations are going to be Kareem Hunt and Elijah Moore. But overall, uh, it looks like the Browns offense is going to be a little bit healthier. Dallas is on by. We'll skip them. Uh, let's look at the Denver Broncos. They're in relatively good health. They're already ruling out Greg Dulcich, which is fine. Um, so Adam Troutman, if you need a tight end, a desperation tight end play, he might be the guy. Uh, but otherwise, the offense is in good shape here. No skill players to worry about. Uh, I, I don't love relying on Broncos players. I think Russell Wilson's a super flex QB2. Uh, I think you can you know, put Javante Williams as a low-end RB2. You can put um, Jaleel McLaughlin as a low-end RB2 flex play. You're probably going to play Cortland Sutton in this one. He's the only receiver that I really 
and somewhat trusting. Uh, and then Jerry Judy, man, he's been pretty pretty much struggling the last month or so. And I, I get it if you don't want to play him. But again, the bye weeks, maybe you have to play a guy like Judy. Uh, the Lions, Lions dinged up a little bit here. They did rule out David Montgomery, Jonah Jackson. They placed a defensive end here on IR. James Mitchell and Craig Reynolds are going to be the questionable guys here. We're not caring about Mitchell, but Reynolds would operate as the RB2 behind Jameer Gibbs. But either way, this is setting up to be a Jameer Gibbs full workload. He was limited Wednesday, Thursday, full practice today. So he's on track, man. He's going to get the bulk of the carries, I think upwards of 15 to 20 touches in this one. And we'll see if Craig Reynolds can be a game time decision. Uh, but either way, I'm not playing Craig Reynolds. I'm playing Jameer Gibbs, Sam Laporta. Good to see him full practice Friday. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. I think for this one, you know, Jared Goff's a, a fringe QB one with all the bye weeks. And, you know, for Superflex, I want him in my lineup for sure. Uh, but otherwise, you're starting Amon Ra, you're starting Jameer Gibbs, and you're starting Sam Laporta, maybe Josh Reynolds if you need someone deep. Uh, Green Bay, they have a lot of questions here. Uh, they're listing the linebacker here, Devondre Campbell, as doubtful. I'm not sure about Eric Stokes, but he's going to be back soon. Jair Alexander didn't practice today. He was limited yesterday, DNP today, so slight concerns there. Same thing with Elton Jenkins, DNP today after practicing the last two days. Green Bay's got a lot of question marks here. I think the one for fantasy that we're worried about is Aaron Jones. Um, He's leaning towards a game-time decision. I think he's going to play. If he plays, you want him in your lineup. Uh, and then Christian Watson, it's nice to see him not on the injury report here. He's full go. Uh, I think Watson, Romeo Dobbs should be in your fantasy lineups this weekend. Aaron, I'm going to play Aaron Jones, and I do think Jordan Love is a streaming QB1 option for you this weekend. But a lot of questions here from Green Bay. Hopefully none of these guys are, are out for too long. Houston's on by. We'll skip them. The Indianapolis Colts, relatively healthy. They did rule out Kylan Granson and Braden Smith. For fantasy, though, like they're going up against the Browns. We really shouldn't be relying on the Colts' offense. Uh, I think Gardner Minshew is barely usable in super flex leagues. I think Pittman, I'm still going to whip out there as a low-end wide receiver three flex play. I think Josh Downs, kind of the same thing. And I do want to play Jonathan Taylor. I think this is the week where we see Jonathan Taylor finally overtake Zach Moss for that backfield lead. Uh, but overall, Nothing too really nervousing here for the Colts. The Jags played last night, so they're good to go. The Kansas City Chiefs, they did rule out Justin Watson. I'm hoping that this opens up some snap counts and uh, some routes for Tony, for Sky Moore, uh, for Rashi Rice for sure. You know, otherwise, everyone's practicing in full here, so the offense is in good shape. You're starting Mahomes, Kelsey, Pacheco. Those guys are locked in. Uh, and then I do think if I'm starting one Chiefs receiver, it's going to be Rashi Rice, who I'm expecting to take uh, a leap forward this weekend in terms of snaps, routes, maybe targets. Uh, it's looking pretty good for the rookie receiver. Chargers are really bang banged up here. More so on defense, though. The only guy on offense here that's worth noting is Jalen Guyton. Uh, he's going to be coming back soon. But otherwise, yeah, everybody looks good here for the Chargers. Uh, offensive line is intact here. But they're just missing some guys on defense. So Chiefs offense, you're going to put up some points. Chargers offense should have to play keep up. Um, moving into the Rams here. Uh, they ruled out Kieran Williams, of course. Ronnie Rivers also on IR. Uh, ben Skoronek, Achilles, not sure what's up with that. The offense is good. I, and for, for fantasy, you're only relying on Stafford, Puka, and Cooper Cup. Maybe Tyler Higbee, maybe Tutu Atwell. Not sure what the running back's going to look like. We have Royce Freeman, Zach Evans, you have Daryl Henderson, and now Miles Gaskin. I'm probably going to be recommending not to start any Rams running back just because I don't know how it's going to look. I don't trust Sean McVay. I think it's going to be a, a, a wheel where everybody's getting touches, probably two, three, maybe even four running backs getting the ball in this one here. I, I do think Royce Freeman, just from – a pass blocking and, and veteran stance. Like he, he might be the guy that gets the most opportunity in this one. Uh, moving on to the Raiders. Raiders did rule out Jimmy Garoppolo, Nate Hobbs, and your and Bennett. Their offense looks fine though. Uh, Devonte Adams is healthy. Uh, you're starting Josh Jacobs in this one. I think they did name Brian Hoyer, the starter. So that's good news for, for Devonte for Jacoby Myers. You want those guys in your lineups and obviously Josh Jacobs. And then the name to keep an eye on, if you guys can stash the tight end, Michael Mayer, He's starting to put together some nice numbers uh, in the tight end spot as a rookie. Miami Dolphins, they put Chris Brooks, the running back, on IR today. You have Jeff Wilson practicing in full. I think we're going to see his debut. I'm not going to recommend starting Jeff Wilson. I want to see, one, how he looks and see his opportunity in this offense first. But uh, I do think he should be picked up in almost all formats. Um, let's see. Otherwise, looking pretty good here. Maybe we see Chase Claypool's debut as a Dolphin as well. Uh, nothing really else to note here. Jalen Ramsey may be coming back next week. Otherwise, it looks okay here. Uh, Xavier Howard questionable with a groin injury. That's really the only one that uh, is one to note. 
the Minnesota Vikings, they play Monday Night Football. Nothing really to note here. I think you're, you know the names you're going here. Kirk Cousins is a fringe QB1, best as a QB2 in Superflex. You can play Alexander Madison and hope for a low-end RB2 floor game. You're playing Addison and maybe Osborne and for sure Hawkinson. Moving into New England, New England's just dinged up. Like They've got uh, Jack Jones still on IR, Riley Reef, Josh Uche. Uh, Keon White ruled out already, a couple guys on the PUP list. And then look at this huge list of questionables here. I, I think, honestly, we're not going to be caring about starting Patriots in fantasy football. They're playing Buffalo. I think the only players that I would use on this team is Ramondre Stevenson as my RB2. Maybe Zeke, you know, with the bye weeks, maybe he's a low-end RB2 flex play. And then maybe um, Kendrick Bourne as the wide receiver. But otherwise, I'm kind of staying away from this team. They're really dinged up. Uh, Buffalo should do what they do. Uh, we'll skip the Saints they played last night. Let's look at the New York Giants. Giants, another one of those teams that are just decimated at the offensive line. Shane Lemieux, uh, IR. Hurt his biceps this week. Matt Pert out. John Michael Schmitz, their center out. Andrew Thomas, their left or their right tackle out. Evan Neal questionable. Didn't practice Wednesday or Friday. Limited uh, Thursday. Potentially their whole starting offensive lines out. So you take that for what it's worth. Daniel Jones questionable the neck. Not sure what's going on there. I, I think Wandell Robinson's fine as a wide receiver three flex in full PPR leagues. You're starting Saquon Barkley and you're probably starting Darren Waller. That's probably the end of the list here. Giants need a bye week to get that offensive line healthy. The Jets are on bye. Uh, we'll move on to the Eagles here. They did rule out Blankenship and Bradley Roby. Otherwise, you know, a bunch of fools and in, in limiteds today here. I think Devonta Smith is good to go. And I also think uh, Dallas Goddard is good to go. They don't have the Friday reports in here, but I did see that Dallas Goddard and Devonta were both removed from the injury report here. So Philadelphia's offense, we know what we're doing uh, with the Eagles. We're starting all those guys there. The Steelers, Pat Frymuth had a setback in practice on Thursday. He's not playing in this one. They've already ruled him out, and he might be out a game or two after this week. So unfortunate there. We thought we were going to get him back after the bye week, but no good. We do get Deontay Johnson back, and I want to make sure you guys get him in your lineups right away. I think he was good to go like last week, and he, he was saying all the right things. So I believe Deontay's back. Uh, otherwise, yeah, for fantasy, like we kind of know what's going on here. Pickett's only a QB2 for Superflex. I think Deontay and George Pickens should be in your lineups with no Pat Frymuth out there. Uh, and then I'm I'm playing Najee or I'm playing Jalen Warren over Najee Harris right now uh, in pretty much any format. The Seahawks are pretty dinged up right now, and they have some fantasy guys that we need to look at. Their center, Evan Brown, limited. He's questionable. Zach Charbonnet didn't practice all week. I'm going to put him towards doubtful, more doubtful than questionable. Uh, offensive lineman here, limited. Phil Haynes, offensive lineman, limited. Actually didn't practice today or yesterday. And then DK Metcalf, he got a limited day in practice today. They're labeling him as a game-time decision. If he plays, I'm going to play him, but just know that he's a little dinged up right now. Tyler Lockett, limited, limited, full removed off the injury report. They're just being cautious with him. Uh, the Seahawks have had their buy already. So you're going to see them be very cautious with players on Wednesday, Thursday. And they're going to basically, if you can practice Friday, you're probably going to end up playing. So uh, Lockett, Metcalf. Yes. Kenneth, it's a Kenneth Walker week, by the way, he's going to be probably a top five running back this week. Uh, let's look at, uh, I skipped it there. Let's go to San Francisco. I don't know if the reports are going to be in just yet. They do not have the, the 49ers reports in yet. Uh, let's actually, uh, I'm going to skip that, and then we'll, we'll we'll figure out the the 49ers here at the end. We have a couple more teams I want to look at. Tampa Bay's healthy, man. Nobody late, ruled out. They have a couple guys here questionable, but uh, Tampa Bay's fantasy offense looks really good. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, you're playing those guys. Maybe Rashad White. I don't know. I'm not super uh, into Rashad White's box scores right now. And then Washington, they didn't rule anybody out. They look, they look like everyone's practicing in full, so their fantasy offense is good to go. Uh, now I do want to look at the 49ers – practice reports let's uh let's go google these um or twitter x these let's see um yeah i want to go to underdog here hmm not finding it 49ers practice all righty so McCaffrey was practicing today he was on the side field um so here you go he's doing some work on the side with the training staff Debo not practicing Trent Williams not practicing so a little bit dinged up on offense here we'll see if the 49ers 
uh, put out another report tomorrow that might make our decisions. Not sure on Christian McCaffrey yet. I, I would lean towards him not playing in this weekend. We'll talk about Elijah Mitchell and Jordan Mason, I'm sure, throughout the weekend here if we get a news update that McCaffrey's not playing. Hopefully they let us know before the games kick off on Sunday so we can set our lineups accordingly. But uh, I think right now probably plan on not having CMC this weekend. But hey, that's it, guys. Um, I'm going to do a quick video tomorrow on the player props here. It's not going to be a full episode. Uh, Jesse's not going to be with us tomorrow. Uh, but either way, I'll probably upload maybe a 15-minute video on my player props that I like. And then, of course, Sunday morning, 10.30 a.m. Central Time, join me. We'll go over the actives and actives list. And we'll get you guys your questions uh, ready for your lineups in Week 7. But either way, enjoy your Friday night. Have fun Saturday. We'll see you guys on Sunday morning. Peace. Mm -hmm.